Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today, and today we are going to be assembling a five foot moose with LED lights because eco friendly is great for the moose. Let's cut it open. Let's show you what you need, what we're all going to have to assemble because there's no way this box is five feet tall. So we are going to have to assemble the moose like so. I'm so excited. Oh, that's neat. They actually tape it onto here. So when you pull the pieces out, you already know how to assemble Mr. Moose. Oh my gosh, it's so flocked. So it's not too hard to notice what you gotta do. You can see that there's these wraps right here. Don't mess with these. But behind that, there are some holes that have been flocked in. And you'll see these little metal pieces right here, which are actually recepting these posts. And you know which one goes which because the lights only will fit along certain ones. So, see how there's a little hole there for that to slide into? There'll be one right there for that to slide into and the center one. Now, because designing and everything, you might have to clean out these holes a little bit because you'll see that they flocked inside the hole. Mother flockers. Once we do that. Uh, you will see that lines up there, that one lines up there, and this one squeezes into here. You will then pinch these together uh, and squeeze it in. As you can see, I might have some more flocking to clear and to squeeze that into. If all else fails and I can't get it in there, I have a tool, or you might want to do it with a toothpick, but you'll squeeze it into the hole to clean once we do this, you'll see that the two ringlets are like this. Take one of these tie straps, put it through the eyelets, like so, and put the strap through the other, and zip tie it nice and tight up against here. Do this to each of the legs. Like I said, just slip them in and put the tie strap on. After you get these things super tight, turn the zap strap with your finger to the back side, like that then trim the tail, then all you see is that much brown. If you leave it out here, I mean, you might think it looks kind of tacky. So just like I said, you can cut it out here and then just slip that zap strap around so that way it's hidden behind the leg. Let's get the other four done. Keep note of these. They hook into each to the other leg. So I've got one side done. Now when I go to put these posts in, before I zap strap the other legs, I want these to stick down into it. Now you might be looking and saying, what are these four little things for? This is for staking down your deer later or moose. Put my strap on each leg, made sure these are down like so. And then I slipped his tail in up to you. If you want to throw a strap in here to keep the tail psyched up against the body like that, you could hide one within the tail and right here. And again, it just like the posts, there's a one on there. You slip it in. All right, now that we have the deer standing, we know the legs are good. Um, from this point, let's put the head on. Or well, I guess the neck, because there's a neck and then there's a head. You see those two little teeth on there? Those go on top, make sure they go, you'll see that top hole right up here. See that metal brace in the center? So what you wanna do is put that so it sits like that. And then there's those two posts on the inside, make sure they go on the inside of the moose right there. After you get that on, you have to take some tie wraps and from both sides, try and do it evenly. Put a tie wrap there, tie wrap here, tie wrap on the bottom just to keep that. So I'd probably do off of this to keep it safe. I would probably do just trying to think here. One here, one here right beside each post. So one beside this post, one beside that post one down at the bottom, and then if you want to, one at the top, but the top should be fine because of the hooks. I'll leave it up to you. I would do three, one, two, and three. So after you put your straps in there, you'll have to see there's another hook on here. So you'll find the one bar on top, and it could have some extra, as you can see, I had to pull it back and sink the hooks around that metal bar once again, make sure the two inner posts are on the inside. And again, hide a couple zap straps in here. I would do, if you want, one right here, 
and one on the opposite side over here just holding the head in just like that and once those two are in you're good now you're like well, what if i want to zip tie them from the inside remember you can go in from right here if you have long arms and do it or strap it right here and then turn that zap strap on the inside first cut it then turn the strap just like we've been doing he has his head he has his body now for mr moose we're going to put it on his antlers so you can see once again we're dealing with this slide the two antlers in one this side one that side let's get our strapping on make sure you uh, slide the ears in as you're putting the antlers in because if not you just want to double check to make sure that you can sink them in next throw a couple straps in here one here and one here just to keep those antlers pegged in and same with the ears one on the, each ear and just make sure those stay pegged in from there go around and just tuck in the extra wire from your structure and just strap them where you see fit try and hide the straps and try and use as little as you can if you're trying to keep them hidden so for example i'm probably going to throw one up here because there's a big bundle up here but i'll try and get all the slack in one and then i'll put one strap to keep it nice and tight in there and like i said just one here one right here one on each ear show you another trick with these straps so you'll take them you'll bend the tip right about here in half and you'll bend it again and make sure you're bending it the right way and what you do is you keep bending it and putting creases and see how it slowly forms a hook or it comes back around you at you then what you can do is you can feed it around and it'll slowly if you bend it with your finger watch this see how it comes back around makes it easier for when you're putting it in and if you can't reach through the deer or moose then you can bring it around as you can see elliot is put together now that elliot's put together let's go plug him in and see how he looks outside so that is what the lantern looks like this is what the moose looks like next to a wolf dog. Mika, what are you doing to Elliot? Come here. Leave Elliot alone. So yeah, that's the look so far. Next, I'm going to quickly do some garland right here. But if you guys enjoyed the moose setup video, please like, subscribe. Same with the lamp. And if you didn't watch either or, go watch the other one. Thanks again for watching.